Hello, in this SDL video, we're going to show you how to set up SDL on a Mac using the Xcode IDE. If you're interested in setting it up on different platforms and different IDEs, don't worry, we'll have separate videos covering that, such as Windows. So, first of all, SDL. There are a couple of ways that you can install it. You can go to the lib sdl.org website there'll be a link in the description you can go to the download link and download the source code the runtime binaries or the development libraries and manually link it and like incorporate it into your system this way or the, the way i prefer to install stuff if available on this platform which it is it's using homebrew so if you just go to brew.sh this will allow you to install Homebrew, which is an amazing package manager for the Mac OS operating system. I just said Mac operating system, operating system twice technically, but for Mac OS. And to install it, just copy and paste this line, open terminal, paste it into here, click enter. And for me, it's not really going to take very long. It's actually going to say, aborted simply because i've actually already installed it. not aborted i mean installation success and already already up to date i've already installed it but it might take a, a little while for you just be patient as it downloads and installs homebrew so let's just clear the screen so now what we can do is install sdl using homebrew to do that you just use a brew command and all the brew commands you can get are on brewformulas.org. There'll also be a link in the description to that. For SDL, there's two different types. There's SDL and SDL2. You want SDL2, that's the latest version, and it's brew install SDL2. So if we go to our terminal, type in brew install SDL2. And for me, it says I already have a version. So if you want to install a newer version or reinstall it you have to, you would have to unlink it first and then do brew install sdl2 i'm going to leave the version as it is because this is fine so that's all done now we've actually linked sdl into our system and now we can incorporate it into an xcode project so if we download um, um oh, yeah that's probably something it's worthwhile doing is downloading xcode so once you've got that done click create a new Xcode project, create a command line tool for Mac OS. And now for the product name, I'm gonna say SDL tutorial. You want the language set to C++, click next. I'm gonna save it to the desktop. And before we actually start coding, we just need to link SDL to our particular project. So go to build settings, type in search into the search box, Make sure you got all selected here and go to search paths, then go to header search path. So if I just open this, click plus. And now what you want to do here, you want to type in forward slash USR, forward slash local, forward slash include. And this will allow us to include files such as SDL that we have set up and installed using Homebrew. Now we just need to include the SDL library. So go to build phases link binary with libraries click plus type in sdl if it appears here fantastic if it doesn't click add other just click command shift g and you'll have this little window that pops up saying go to folder and you want to type in usr forward slash local forward slash seller c e double l a r click go and then here these are all of the packages that are installed and set up go to sdl go to the version that you want to use go to lib and then you want to get this one right here lib sdl 2-2.0.0.dy lib there might be another dy lib but as you can see if i zoom in on this icon this is an alias you don't want the alias you want this one right here click open and that's it we've actually set up our project to use sdl and what we're going to do is just put some basic code to make sure SDL is working. So if we get rid of all of the code in here, and what I'm going to do is just zoom in just so it's easier to see. So the first line we're going to do is hash include IO stream. 
then we're going to do hash include we're going to include the SDL header now so this is the moment of truth so SDL for I mean SDL2 for slash SDL dot H and now we're going to do int main in here it's going to have a int for the argument count and then a character array which will be the argument value so rv like so and now we are simply going to initialize sdl that's all we're going to do in this tutorial for coding so i'm going to do if sdl underscore init and now we specifies what we want to initialize you can do stuff like joystick controller timer we're going to keep it simple and just do sdl underscore init underscore everything and as you can guess this initializes everything and if this is less than zero then an error has occurred errors will usually return negative one but just in case they don't it's going to do less than zero then we're going to do std c out SDL could not initialize and we're going to put SDL error and now we just need to specify the error so you just do SDL underscore get error and now we're just going to put a end line And that's it for that line. It is, what's it saying? Ah, I did not put the operator there. So let's zoom back in. And now just one more line. We're just gonna do return, exit underscore success, semicolon. And now if we were to run this, it's all good. We don't get a window because we'll cover that in a separate Hello World window tutorial. The reason we're separating it and just having basic code in here because this is just enough code to know if we've set up SDL correctly. If so, fantastic. If not, just go through these steps again. Just make sure you've linked it properly with the libraries and the include folder. And we'll cover the Hello World code because that is cross-platform compatible on a separate video instead of each of the setup videos. And well, that is it for setting up SDL on Mac in the Xcode IDE. If you have any questions, feel free to post them on my education platform, sonarlearning.co.uk. There will be a link in the description along with links to the source code from this video and all of the other links that I mentioned, such as homebrew, brew formulas, and SDL. If you, well, have any other questions, you can obviously post on our website, you can post on YouTube's comments, on Facebook, Twitter, feel free to get in touch however you see fit. And as usual, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.